love reading Capricorn for the month of June 2018. This is your love reading Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising in Capricorn. This is your love reading for June. Capricorn, what's going on this month? Let's find out for you. The first card represents your love life. Let's see what's going on, Capricorn. Sun, moon, and rising in Capricorn. This is for you. Sun, moon, and rising in Capricorn. There's a link down below, guys, for those of you that are interested in a private reading. That link will take you directly to my booking site for those of you that are interested in a private reading. Let's see. I'm going to shuffle two more times and we're going to get started. Oh, there's a card. Here we have the Emperor. There could be an Aries of significance or uh, this is representing uh, force right uh, power step into your power right take control take charge know who you are the emperor represents aries right who is the me sign right so there is a feeling here already capricorn to know your strength know your power know who you are you are the emperor let's see Let's get started and shuffle one more time, Capricorn. This is your love life. The strength card represents Leo. Stay strong. Pull yourself together. Strength card. For many of you, there could be a situation in the month of June that requires for you to dig deep. Let's see. Let's clarify the strength card. There's also here, uh, Capricorn, a need to be gentle. You could be in a very powerful position in the month of June. The Emperor. A lot of responsibility, right? Uh, the ball could be in your, in your court, right? And there's a need here to be honorable. Be compassionate. Let's see. Let's clarify this strength card. We have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles represents cooperation. This also represents uh, a spotlight here in the work that you do. So in one way or another, for many of you, work could be a concern, a matter here in your love life in the month of June. This also represents, uh, well, wanting cooperation, right? And with the emperor perhaps demanding it, right? Strength, the emperor. A lot of force, a lot of power. Three of pentacles working together also represents being a team player, right? That could be a challenge. Working well with others this month of June in order to get something accomplished. And well, the strength card is here. When we see the strength card, it's because this energy is needed. So uh, challenging. Obstacles. Something to make note of. Something to make note of Capricorn. Something to make note of this June. In love. Let's see. Take notes. Ooh. Capricorn. We have the King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be a water sign of significance here. The King of Cups is in control of his, her emotions. That's the King of Cups. Doesn't let his, her emotions take control completely. Let's clarify this King of Cups Capricorn. Let's see. We have the Empress. 
This is Taurus. This is Libra. Empress represents the mother. Again, there's a need here to... Uh, for compassion. The Empress represents nurturing. Represents the womb. Represents effort, work. This... This needs attention. It needs TLC. King of Cups, the Empress, tender, loving care. Let's see. What's going on right now? What's going on right now? Let's see. Capricorn. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Nine of Rods. Defenses are up. If you can picture a soldier, right, going back and forth, back and forth, standing, right, their post, not moving, not wanting to throw in the towel. So this is not giving up. Although you are tired, exhausted. In the Nine of Rods, this person in the Rider deck is depicted as a soldier that is beat up. So you know that whatever journey this uh, person has been on well it's been a long one they've been trying right but uh, well they want to tap out but uh, they're still standing there also in the nine of uh, wands in the rider deck this person is holding on to one wand right for support so it's like hanging by a string right now let's see for many of you putting in a lot of time and a lot of effort into a connection That is, uh, well, could be uh, a little on the rocks, a little bit, let's see. Nine of rods. What did I just say? Maybe not a little, we have the tower. Also, Capricorn. The nine of, uh, the nine of rods, this is the nine of wands, right? Uh, there's a sense here of waiting, right? The soldier going back and forth. It's like someone coming to the gates, right? Awaiting for the tower. It's like that is before you. Right now, a disaster. Looking forward and seeing a disaster for many of you. That's why we have this strength card here. For many of you, uh, this uh, is whatever's going on here. You're feeling this way, the other party as well. We have the moon card. There could be a cancer of significance. Represents insecurities. This is the subconscious mind. For many of you, I'm feeling that uh, you could see this tower coming something here that uh well is on a faulty foundation right it uh, needs a whole lot of work with the empress with the strength card and the three of pentacles you see how this person is working it's like they're working on this tower right this window right that you see on that tower that is the both of you right one of you one of you working on it and it takes endurance here right with the strength card and then we have this moon that this moon that came out with the tower you know it's coming but uh neglecting it leaving it in the dark where it can't be seen let's see what's going to happen that is the present energy. Let's see what's going to happen. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? We have the two of cups. Represents love, soulful connection, caring, romantic feelings. Let's see. Oh, 
Also, what's happening right now, thinking the worst, right? The moon card, dreams, right? Uh, nightmares, the moon. The tower, thinking the worst. But uh, one, not giving up, right? With the nine of rods. Your love life right now, the strength, three of pentacles. Still working. Let's see what this is. Look at that. We have the lovers. This is Gemini. This is future. Look at that. How nice to see the two of cups and the lovers. The lovers represents a decision that is made, right? A head to heart decision. The two of cups is like choosing love. Love overcomes here with the lovers and the two of cups. And that is because, well, there is effort being uh, put in, right? At the present moment, well, this uh, nine of rods, right, came out first. So it's like seeing the tower, right? Uh, ooh, I see it, but I'm going to put in the work. We're going to fix this nine of rods. Something to make note of, king of cups and the empress, right? If you can picture a garden. That's where the empress lives, right? In a magical garden, rabbits, rainbows, unicorns, right? Very uh, fertile. Everywhere the queen, uh, the empress, the queen of all queens, everywhere she goes, if you can imagine as she walks behind, she's leaving behind flowers, right? The roses. Um, trees, rainbows, butterflies. Something to make note of. That is what uh, needs to continue. General advice. Let's see. Advice. Advice. Capricorn. Advice. Capricorn. Let's see. Advice. Capricorn. advice we have the two of swords let's see the two of swords is a could be a tough decision something that is before you that uh, well you're not really wanting to see for what it is let's see two of swords being conflicted Putting a band-aid, right, kind of on a problem and uh, a blanket, right? Can't see it. It's not there. It's not real. It doesn't exist. Let's see. We have the Eight of Cups. This is walking away. Let's see. We have the Tower here, right? We have the magician. The magician represents manifestation, creation, ideas, right? The magician, right, uh, makes magic. So it just makes things appear out of nowhere. There it is. Pulls rabbits out of a hat. For many of you, this tower is what is uh, the energy that is around now. I feel like there is a relationship here that is uh, being salvaged, right? Or at the very least trying to. But uh, it looks like it's going to work out in the near future. But, uh, well, the tower is still here and it's still sitting on a faulty foundation. And, uh, well, someone here is uh, walking away. And it's going to happen out of nowhere. For many of you, you see this coming already. Someone sees this coming with the moon card. But with the two of swords not wanting to see the situation for what it is. That is what I have for you, Capricorn. If you like and resonate with this reading, please do like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.